We have been doing uh, the campaign, as I'm sure you will know. Um, but I'm not going to continue with the campaign for a level because uh, you may or may not remember, if we go to Mission Select, Farah has a tendency, doesn't it, to a fork into two levels and you get to choose which level you want to do. Um, and that's what happened here. We could pick one of these two. We picked Abduju, um, and we completed it. You can see here, we completed it. Which means on campaign mode, um, I think we're now going to jump to the Old Kingdom. Abu, uh, is where we would start. We saw it there. Um, but I don't want to skip this level, so I've come to choose a mission, and we'll do this sort of outlier city and then we can carry on with the campaign i'm hoping to make sure that lots of egyptians have to carry goods clear across the city <laughs> okay um and i want all the supplies to sell like hotcakes so let's do this i don't know how do we say that bedette um i'm sure he'll say it in a moment won't he and uh, population of a thousand ten modest apartments i'm going to be a little bit rusty it's been a hot minute Egypt's military troops are now unmatched in the known world. But the new pharaoh, Kazakimwe of the Second Dynasty, now also demands a powerful navy based at Bedet. Nothing less than a fleet of warships will suffice to allow us dominion over the high seas. But timber is scarce, as our climate supports only a few sparse areas of forest. Cedar may be imported at great cost from Byblos in the land of Lebanon to the northeast. Fortunately, exports of our native papyrus will provide a means of offsetting this expense. That sounds good, right? So, because I'm going to need a lot of wood for ships, presumably. Um, we may fail this the first time. I don't know how hard and fast attacks are going to come in, but it's, we're going to need timber, right, for ships. It seems like there's not going to be much of it here. And then. We are selling papyrus, so we've got a lot of reeds here. What I can see on the map behind us is that we seem to have chickpeas, figs, fish, and lettuce. Um, what have we got? So, culture rater of 15, rating, uh, prosperity of 20, kingdom of 45, monument of 7. That's very low for monument, isn't it? Population of 2,500. Um, okay, let's, let's do this. Let's have a good look around. Building boats and ships. We've done this before. Right. Are we... Are we paused? Can we be paused? Look. It's always good to have a look around the map, isn't it? Before we get started. So we've got... We've got some... Things here. Oh, look. The reeds are tucked over here. Our entire reed industry is going to have to be... Across here. Uh, so we've got gold over here. Just straight up gold. But trying to get housing uh, workers over here N not a good time right we can't get clean water over there um there's been so many updates to this game since we've last played it which um is a good thing but at the same time there may have been some changes that i'm unaware of uh, because i haven't read all the updates if i'm honest we're going to have to try and get the reeds over here, which means we're going to need ferry ports uh, and we've got the floodplains here. So the, the, the ferry port will need to be sort of here to come across. And it, I would say we're going to want this export business quite quickly, but really the farming for food is here. We're going to be a bit all over the place, aren't we? This path kind of feels like it's in the way, even though it's the path to the city. What we could do, maybe, is do something a bit like this. It may seem like a, a waste of money. Maybe it is, but um, we need all the land that we can get here, I think. Um, and I'd rather put paths through here that not like all this jaggy stuff, the jagged stuff all the way down. Right then. And I'm actually going to start with this. How close can I get this? 
Is that closer? Or is that closer? I don't know. The best thing is to not overthink it too much. Right. Probably. If we have water here, and we can have a path here, we can then have housing this way. Right? So it's sort of stretching towards the gold mine, but they've still got good access to water. Do you feel me? We're going to need food pretty sharpish. We are playing, right? If I... Now we're playing. Oh, Christ. Chickpea farm. Yes, please. Close to the water. In case we have bad flooding. Which is a distinct possibility. Because I is here. Let's do that. Get the chickpea farms going. Oh no, I was hoping I'd be able to, but I can't. And, and then, <laughs> and then what? We need work camp. We'll stick one there, see how it gets along. We do need to connect this path. How do I want to do that? I don't know, we'll do this. We're going to need a granary. which I'm going to stick here. Let's get a bazaar. Right. Bazaar. Should probably put a gap between them, but, you know, to reduce the fire spread. But here we are. This has always annoyed me that the... This is one bigger than the village palace. That's outrageous. This should be exactly the same size. We need a police station. Oh, is that no? Really? I thought that was allowed. I thought this council was right. I guess not. That sucks. <laughs> that sucks. When we get nice plazas around that, maybe it will suck a little less. But right now, it sucks a lot. Eh? There's no trees at all here. So when they said things would be sparse, they weren't kidding. Um. Should we just see about getting some gold mines working? Um, which would be production, gold mine. Now, we want to try and get this as close as possible. We could do sort of two like this, right? No, I don't know. I'm not very good with these roadblocks. If I put this roadblock here, it would stop them finding people to work wouldn't, wouldn't it but it would stop the water i just don't know we're short of 52 workers thank you so this should probably do it my goodness my goodness and we're all out of food I'm gonna have to let let this do its thing we'll get the workers in so people can actually work the field we need to get an architect's post over here because you know what'll happen it'll fall down won't it? The mines will fall down. They love doing that. It's one of their favourite pastimes. We'll stick another architect's post here because we could really do without that nonsense. Let's get a firehouse in. Do you know what? I might put the firehouse... No. Do I? Yes. Uh, should I put the firehouse? Because it's near the water here is what I'm thinking. It's near the water here. Um, they can get to the houses. They can also get to the granary. Should be quite important. Imagine if the granary caught fire. That'd be disastrous. Should we hold a festival? Let's do a a lavish one at 34 doubloons. It's not outrageous. Let's do it to Osiris. Let's get that going. We should probably get an apothecary. Yeah. Let's look at religion because we need to get in a couple of shrines, don't we? Um, they're probably going to ask for temples within minutes, seconds, or some some nonsense. We put a shrine here. Oh, who was that shrine to? I've, I've, was it Ra? That's a temple. These are both temples. Shrine. Yeah, look. Let's get a road. I think that would need a road, would it? Doesn't say that it does. Interesting. People are pleased with you. That's nice. People are emigrating to a city. It's really annoying that when I hover over it to read it, I do this so that you know where I'm looking. 
<laughs> but then it just covers it up with all this nonsense. Isn't it? Okay, important. The city is short of 41 workers. Well, if we get some water and some food going, more people will be able to move in. And oh, look what they've done to this. <gasps> it actually looks like a festival here now. That's really nice. That's really nice. That's a nice new touch, isn't it? Do we like this? I like this. This is nice. <laughs> we need to get to importing quite quickly, which means we need to get across to the papyrus. Um, yeah. We can see the gold coming in, which is amazing. The farming has started. Excellent. Let's look at ferry landings. No time like the present while well, that's building up. Because I don't like speeding up, as you know. But we could we could start this. Ferry landings. Ferry landings. <gasps> Here we go. Ferry landing. Right. In my mind, they never actually... They don't need road access unless you want someone to employ there. But when, when immigrants come across, they just come across, don't they? You only need people working these if you actually want like goods and stuff to be transported across which we m may do I, I don't know if they're going to be coming by ship this is a good point actually how would they let's go to the world map oh look at all these cities we've set up um so see look they import we can import wood from them they will buy reeds really we don't want to sell reeds but we can get bricks from them look for this monument oh hang on a minute no they sell reeds they don't buy anything absolutely useless so here look timna we're definitely going to want to open this sharpish aren't we hells yeah that's going to be one we want to open okay um they don't buy papyrus they buy papyrus. Neken, we're going to want to go there as well. Right, okay, that's that's good to know. This is, how are we ever going to get anybody to work over here? We may need to set up, you know, sometimes you have those like little junk towns. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We need a junk town. It's just poverty all the time over here. See how they get along. Um, oh yeah, we're Lethis. I forgot that we're called Lethis. Uh, because it is growing, Naken is now willing to trade even more papyrus. What do you mean even more? <sighs> Give us a minute. We need to set up a civilization over here to deal with all the freaking papyrus. They're not going to like all the papyrus making things happening over here. At all. Maybe we could pull the road down here and get like the papyrus making down the road a bit you know um let's see here we need we need let's let's do that because they're also not going to like the workhouses or anything like that either um we're going to need a bazaar um that's the storage yard bazaar we are going to need a storage yard get that going how are we doing over here we've got more people moving in which we like to see 29 workers and I have to start to build new things it's this food we're sort of holding on for the food aren't we and what we might do should we get some more I think actually do you know what over here we might do fishing docks and get some fish in over here this is a good over here, this is good. Oh, 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 hey. There's a freaking fish. This might be a good food supply. Saving bringing all the chickpeas round. Right? Just try and cut down on that silliness a little bit. And this could be a food supply. Let's get a granary. Here. Um, and I, I also think... Maybe we should get a bit of fire and an architect's post. Bit, bit of fire. I like to have some fire about. I <laughs> can't remember exactly what we worked out, but one reed gatherer is, is good for quite a few papyrus makers, wasn't it? Do you remember? It was actually a bit nuts. 
to it was difficult to balance them if i recall so we'll see how that goes we're going to need more folks i think living over here let's get another let's get another lot of that going and then later on we can tax the nuts off of them <laughs> uh we could do with some shrines yes actually should we just go straight for temples over here maybe we should go straight for temples um should sort of get it done we did like a temple back here because it's going to be difficult to get houses back there because you can there can only be two back can't they from the road we might use that bit of land we might not though we might but we might not let's should we stick the shrines here look i just kind of want them out of the way do you know what i mean they're a little bit in the way let's stick them there oh look the menu's in the way if i let's just stick them out of the way here that should be pretty good access we can have more houses tucked in perhaps around here at some point right the reed's coming in the reed is coming in it's really annoying that it's stuck behind this menu can we oh i undid my last move that's the one i wanted to do i thought it might hide do you remember that used to be a thing it's not anymore because i can't really see my reed gatherers makes me a little sad how's our little shanty town going on how are we doing over here are you all like upset and whatnot <laughs> you're fine we only need five workers here and there's 28 people living here maybe we didn't need this many houses in this location maybe we would wonder it's come back. It's come back. <laughs> five. And there's room for two more. That's a bit better, isn't it? Because this only needs five people. Yeah, five workers, look. That's right, that's what I'm talking about. He's got his well. <laughs> He's fine. To get food, it's probably like a month's walk or something. <gasps> Here she is. These goods will make welcome additions to the bazaar. <laughs> Oh no! If I if I quickly like bulldozer, so <laughs> health and services, it's going to be this one. It just doesn't say health anymore. Let's get a physician in. Is that what would have helped this? Because there's water right there. You can't say that there's a water problem. I'm not. I'm not buying that nonsense. Or is it lack of food? I will buy that nonsense. Uh, let's hold a festival for Cyrus. I wish I could sort of cue them. Disease strikes. What is causing it? Disease. Disease struck a household with poor health care access. People are dying. Um, well, I've, I've just built it. So hopefully... And it's staffed now, look. Not well, but it is. Should we get some more farms in oh, the, this diagonal thing it's unsatisfying isn't it? It, it it doesn't feel nice you know to when you got that straight edge oh that feels good when you can do that this 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 feels less nice this feels less nice um let's do that i can't get a path around there f it all <laughs> let's uh now we've got this stupid Oh, why did I have to do it like this? I can't cope with it. It's worth the 18. <laughs> okay. Look. Do we need... No, because we can't even get workers in there. Okay, look. People say that this city has plenty of food to go around. Well, the people are lying. But I'll tell you what, there are plenty of jobs to go around. Uh, every, everyone's dead in that house. I wouldn't move into that one. Is it worth me destroying those houses? Oh my god. I've got nine months to comply with pottery. Pottery. Right, I'm just going to pause this minute. Is it worth destroying these buildings and then just placing down new ones? Or are they better to leave them there because they're already built? They've got stocks of food in them. You wouldn't want to waste the food, would you? <gasps> I don't know what to do for the best there. Okay. Um, everybody's dead, Dave. Everybody is dead, Dave. Well, not everybody, but a lot of people are dead. 
Oh my god, he's dead, Jim. <laughs> That's another one that I quite enjoy. He's dead, Jim. <laughs> um, well, we got the apothecary here. The apothecary was always here. All I can think is that it's just, yeah, poorly staffed. Right, everything is poorly staffed. So if we can get people in here, that'd be great. So pots then. We need to set up another little village somewhere to deal with pots. Um, the pottery industry, nobody ever likes it. People hate it, in fact. Um, so do you know what? Because he's all on his Todd over here. Um, this is this is Dave. You contact when everybody's dead. This is where Dave lives. <laughs> this is why Dave lives over here. Right? He feels safer over here. Um, we might do the pottery near Dave. Uh, because it's out the way of all of this. And, you know, maybe Dave could do with some friends. So, I think we'll do that. We'll put pottery over here. What I want to do first is just check, can pots go anywhere in grass? I've forgotten the clay pits. That would be production B. Yeah, I think it, oh no, it has to be quite close. Right, okay, I'm pleased to check, I'm pleased to check this. I don't know, again, how far one will go. So, we'll leave this open for more. We'll put a path down the centre, like so. Right, so if we're starting pottery production over here, then we're going to need the actual potters. I don't, we may, I don't think a clay pit goes as far as a reed maker, right? Because, like, look at this, right? Look at this stupid amount of reeds here, because it's really quick to just, you know, digging up clay, not so easy. Also... We have no storage yard. No! <laughs> also, there's no storage yard because I'm an absolute plum. Right, okay. Should we put in a storage yard? Might be an idea. Because of fire, I'm going to put it here. It's a bit of a trot, though, isn't it? It's a bit close to the houses. They don't like the storage yards. We could put it near here, couldn't we? We could freaking put it near here. Leave enough room for more reed make uh, reed, ga reed gatherers, which I don't think we're going to need. But if we put this here, put a path down here, um, except none, right? <laughs> I can't believe I just did that. Oh my god! See what I mean about Rusty? Let's accept all and all papyrus. Have we done that? Yeah. Unbelievable. Why have they got no water here? Nobody has water or food coming in here. Um, there's no fish. I thought they were gathering fish. What's happened to all the fish that they were doing? <laughs> oh no. Somebody left a message on my comments on YouTube. They probably don't like being near a fishing wharf, do they? Saying you're really good at business management sims and strategy games it's really kind but i have my doubts <laughs> um they they're going to really hate that this house cannot evolve because it has no food that's fine they can they'll complain about that later i guess <clears throat> so we've got somewhere for the fish to go we'll get some people employed in here i don't understand why they're not getting water if i put in a roadblock here maybe and a roadblock here i wonder if that would help it i don't really understand the roadblocks very well because i don't if they need to employ will they go through it do the people looking for work go through these i think so these classic star trek in it it's dead dream <laughs> right moving back to here how have we still not got people over here i am still pause it's because i'm scared um it's on pause so we're getting some more fields in. Do you know what we we could possibly even get some more chickpeas over here, given that we've built all this now. Nothing beats the original Star Trek. Um, by nothing I mean no other Star Treks. <laughs> Not like in the whole world. That's mental. Um, Let's get a workhouse in production. 
production. It's not in here, it's in the food and farming. It's illogical to me. Um, pop that there. Right, so now we need people to actually work over here and junk. Um, at the same time, see this is why I paused it. I want to set up the production first so that we can get the houses further back. So if I do the storage yard, which I think can be near Dave. <laughs> Should we just put it away from Dave a smidge? Because Dave won't like that. I had a chat with him. He hated it. So we need clay. Except all the clay. Except all the pots. We're not going to do this, are we? <laughs> um, how do we stockpile the pots again? We're going to need to stockpile. Was that here? If they move this, get all. That's a bit different. That's mildly different, get all. Is this, what's this now? Oh, no. Good to know, though. Good to know that you can just throw the goods away. I swear you can do that on the old thing without sort of destroying the whole storage yard. Um, that's a good one. So I'm pretty sure it was one of these over here. Was it something to do with this? Yeah. Now, I either I was using this wrong before or it wasn't working properly or I'm not quite sure, but I was having trouble with it before. Let's see if I can work it out now. So I would like to stockpile this resource. So I'm taking the cross off. But there's no tick. If it ticked, I think it might read to me a little bit better that I am now stockpiling. It's good to know also that activating the industry is in here because um, I know that you can do it. And if I didn't see that, I might get confused about where it was. Um, so we can store the clay, the pots. We're stockpiling pots. Very important. We need a pottery. Um, I would, I think I would like the pots to be more sort of here, so that there's more room for clay. That may change later, but I think I like that. Then we could have a path coming this way and get the houses down here. So maybe if we have a bit of a gap, because like, they're not going to like that. That's still quite close, isn't it? But I think that's what we're going to do. And then maybe get some gardens back there later something right yeah no let's put in right let's do this so I'm happy now I know where the houses are we need a bazaar don't we um, and the money's getting a little bit tight uh, are these these are understaffed as well shocking um, but I also can't staff tax offices either so there is that the granary is really far away actually should we make a granary a bit closer with the money uh, we'll put a granary there granaries take a lot of staffing 12 workers let's get some more houses in oh i was going to put the houses here i've i've messed it up everybody <laughs> I was going to put houses there. Well, I guess now this is becoming like a central... <laughs> a central place. Oh, my. I don't think that's happening. I can't believe it. I've messed it up and everything. I was going to put houses there. It was so ugly. <laughs> Just have to go with it, everyone. Yeah. Get moving. Because I'd like to get medicine and stuff over here. We need you as well. It's actually quite important. I'm going to put you there. Keep the industry going. The clay's going. Look at this. Um, yeah, medicines and stuff. We've got the firehouse. We've got there. We need the apothecary in that. Yeah, physician. I'd like one of those. <laughs> Let's put you here. We're going to need shrines. Oh my god, it just never ends. It just never ends. <laughs> we'll put you in the middle. Um, and I can't... I don't really want to do temples right now. Maybe we should do this. How are we doing over here? Why are we having so many difficulties over here? 
if I put a well there, because it's like we've got, he's going this way. Yeah, let's put a well here. Because the bazaar might also have trouble here as well. Because she'll come out the front, I think. Oh no, she's going to come out the back. So they'll have trouble for food, won't they? I think that's the thing we need to look at. Okay. Wow, the, the floodplains didn't do well this year. In that sort of situation, if you've got the money, it sort of looks like it's better to just delete the farm and replace it. <laughs> does it not? kind of does, doesn't it? Um, should we build a road like this and then put a like a roadblock on it? Maybe. Here comes more gold. Oh, the, f the floods will be excellent this year. Beer, definitely not happening. Definitely not happening. I, I mean, I can... Oh my god. I'm clearly supposed to be moving much faster than I am. No one's... Mo why have we... Can we get water and stuff over here? What's... Why is there no fish? <laughs> is anybody getting fish? They're not even getting fish. Why is it... Because they don't have... I do have to build the fishing boats. <laughs> but it doesn't take wood to build them. Is that right? You're probably all saying it in chat and I'm just not reading it. I'm trying to remember things myself, you know. It's, it's good to test my old noggin. I think I need the ship right. Dave, do you want to take the ship right? Here, look. Let me move this well. So this... We do need the ship right. But it doesn't take wood. Is that right? Am I remembering that right? Docks. I just saw it. Ship right. Christ production they're building the fishing boats <sighs> are the bazaar set to collect food do you have to do that now they should just automatically go buying everything buying everything except i'm stockpiling pots they can't do anything with the paper they've stopped production because nobody works there <laughs> christ do you know what Okay, we just... And if we have to delete them later, we're going to have to delete them later. But we need some serious shifting of bottoms. So we've got some pots. It looks like we've got 100 units there of pots. It actually looks like... I know this is weird, but it actually looks like they were going all the way around to get the clay to the potters, which sort of sucks, doesn't it? Um... This is annoying, but we can get some plazas down here. And we don't have any entertainment at the moment. But Jesus, can we just get the city running first before we worry about that kind of stuff? Okay, here comes a fishing boat. <laughs> I'm so sorry you're all starving, I know. <sighs> I will get you watered and fed, right? It's, it's, it's high on my list, even though you can sort of worship your gods first. Um, but that's but that works for you because then you'll be like, please send us water and food, and they'll feel like they're doing something that their prayers would have got them food and water while I'm here, <laughs> wiping sweat from my brow. Like, how do I do this again? I need to <laughs> get the food and water. There's nobody in the granary. There's nobody in either granary. We need to do like a priority. We need to do like a priority, don't we? How do we do that again? Stock and distribution. How does this work again? How does this work? Because is, is this this is priority? Can I not just say yeah, do, like this is top priority here. Uh, make sure that jobs are filling these types of locations before others. Right? I think that's what we've done. Let's get a bunch more houses in uh, here and here. They're not going to like it living in these spots, but it's tough, isn't it, really? Do you know what we might do? Destroy that line there, put a road in. If they're just going to have to suffer it, disease strikes. 
got two fishing boats going got lots of chickpeas over here no chickpeas anywhere else interesting interesting maybe maybe i should not accept chickpeas over here let's not do that anymore oh no dave dave <laughs> no we've got six months or risk making enemies out of our neighbors <gasps> is that gonna happen with the beer and then i need a navy i'm gonna fail this level i'm so scared okay um well the floods have gone well that's good <laughs> A beer industry. When these houses fill up, do we think there would be too many people living here and we could... I'd have to import though, wouldn't I? No, no, no. I saw it here. Did I not? Barley. We don't have time to grow barley. Barley. Can we get some barley for... Help me! <sighs> we may need another workhouse here. Let's go for another workhouse. Probably should connect up these roads. Let's get a roadblock over here. Um, I'm going to put in... I'm starting to think now. I'm, I'm really starting to think. <laughs> I'd like more more chickpeas. <gasps> Bees stopped messing around. Can you see? Bees starting to get serious. <laughs> I'm scared. Um, I'm up for having chronic unemployment and needing to destroy houses. That sort of just works for me, so we'll, we'll worry about we'll worry about it later. Let's just get bums in seats. Um, let's have another festival. Raw. Um, I'm going to get a couple more gold mines down. We need we need cash. let's um we're going to need a storage yard for this barley do you know what this will do for the minute except all there except all here we'll let the people move in we're growing the barley we'll get some money in start bringing that gold in this way because i don't i can't export the papyrus yet which i need to do that actually does need to happen where is it this one here um we'll get the beer going first totally gonna get the beer going first bring me the gold can we production workers which one was it again it is this one right okay this is still the priority but after that is it this one mm -hmm. is that higher or lower that's going to be lower right production buildings so they would stock all of these before they would make sure this one had workers is that how this works <laughs> Right, so how much is going to be um, production? The brewer is quite cheap, okay. Um, I want to get them their own storage yard. And I can afford to do this. 
going to have an excellent flood. You did not send it. It's not going to happen. It's not going to happen, but at least we'd have it set up in the future. So his army is probably going to come and destroy the entire city. But at least we know what's coming if we do this again. <laughs> we'll, we'll accept none. Let's accept none. Let's accept all of this. Where's the barley? Does the barley go? Yeah, barley. Accept all of that. Right, turn it off over here. None. None. We managed to see, keep growing that. Ow. This looks bad. Let's get more water over here. And perhaps another bazaar. Probably an apothecary. Mm. Bazaar. 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 Please try and feed the people. Okay. The ancient Egyptians are very needy. <laughs> you loving the past. It's an absolute mess, isn't it? <laughs> Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. <laughs> yeah. beautiful look at that it's beautiful <laughs> they're on it they're all over this they're all over this mess right let's get to the world map first things first open that we'll look into this we can buy beer. And pots from here. Guess what we're going to do. Let's just pause this while I work this out. Um, we've got... How many pots do we have now? 700. Actually, we're not going to need to do the pots, but maybe the beer. So, if we... Which, which screen is it again? Just export everything. Just export everything. I can't do that one. There's not... I'd like to do that. Export went over 100. Why can't I do this one? <laughs> no! No! I think I had the pots. I didn't have the pots. Oh no, we're going to be attacked now. <laughs> we're going to be attacked now. Where is it again that we do that? Here. Okay. Um, nine months to get 800 beer. Can we now arrange to import those? wrong screen though that one no surely it just says available for import surely I should be allowed to say I would like to buy X amount I but it's greyed out unlike this one it's it's a land route It's, n it's not clear to me at all. These used to drown in the original game, and then I think in this one they stopped. They made it so they didn't drown, and I didn't like that. I don't know whether they've put it back now or whatever. Um, I guess we'll find out. No, they're gone. Yeah, they've put it back so you lose that food. I think that's better. I think that's the right way to do it. Stop half fish. I really need beer. <laughs> Why can't I import the beer? What am I doing wrong? I've opened the trade route. It's coming by land. 
right? We have land. <laughs> I've got storage yards willing to take it. I've got gold to buy it. This means don't stockpile the resource. This red cross means don't don't stockpile. So I've turned off. Oh right, is that what you're? But that's ridiculous. Stockpile this resource. So if I'm stockpiling the resource, I can't import it. I have to allow my citizens. But what if I want a lot of a good... I want to stockpile the beer. Now we're probably in a situation where they're not going to take the beer. But they've, they've changed the system, haven't they? So they've changed it where with bazaars... Honestly, I don't think we should always listen to the players. So they've made it so that you have to do all of this stuff with the bazaar, which is mental micromanaging. It's already quite a lot of micromanaging this game, and now we've got this. Okay, so I have to go around every bazaar in the city and constantly fiddle with this. To me, that seems ridiculous. I don't want them to buy the beer. That's why I've put it to stockpile. Right? But when it's stockpiled, I can't import it. That's mental. Just buy everything. I mean, it's only going to do... Just buy everything that I can afford. City unemployment? Yeah, I'll bet. Do you know what? Uh, what we can do... We can get rid of these houses. We can do that. Because we were we were going for a high employment unemployment, weren't we? Um, and destroy houses later because it was all getting a bit... rough around the edges. So, are we stockpiling fish now? But we have nowhere to put the fish. Let's stockpile... So, um, fish needs to go into a storage yard, doesn't it? If we empty the fish from here, because it won't register for me to be able to send it out the door if it's in the granary, if I recall correctly. Well, maybe it does. Well, still, storage yard. Make sure we've got plenty of room for chickpeas. And maybe we could import some food. Uh, might be a good idea. We can't import food from here. We could get chickpeas from here. Maybe we should get... Oh, maybe we should get something different. I know this isn't banished. Well, we need, like, you know, a nice balanced diet. But... God, a thousand to open up that. It's so far away. Maybe they are just going to get more chickpeas. From Men the Fair. Here. Should we get... To it's, it can't hurt, can it? I've got cash. Right, let's do a festival. Let's do a festival. It's, it's been a while, Cyrus. We'll get to a stable point, but I've got a feeling that I've made too many mistakes getting to the stable point, which means um, we're, we're going to be attacked. Your political overseer reports that the city storage yards now have enough of these goods to fulfil the recent request. <laughs> okay, quick. Can we... <laughs> Do not... Do not trade. Do not trade these anymore. Okay. Keep the beer for festivals, maybe. Export when over. The city won't, shouldn't really be using it right now. I wouldn't have thought. That's a lot of barley we got, though, isn't it? There's a lot of barley. We'll see how far that barley goes. And either we'll look into providing more jobs by improving the beer industry because we'll get more money for selling beer but if we're having trouble selling the surplus beer because we're producing too much of it and we've got too much barley we'll start exporting some barley but we'll, we'll see how it sort of balances first right that's 
you know. Oh, and I've not turned this one on. Uh, why have you stopped producing? Why have you stopped producing? Fish. Fish. Um, right, that's good. Whew. Maybe we won't be attacked now. I delayed fulfilling Pharaoh's request for the beer. The Egyptian people are displeased with you and your kingdom rating has fallen. So even though I sent them the beer, they still hate me. We should probably look at a navy then. So <laughs> let's see. We need to get some money in. We need to import wood, which is going to be expensive. It's a thousand to open the route as well. It's going to be by sea, I would have thought. Water trade, we've got the dock. We've got the storage yard where we can put the wood. We could move. We could move the ship right over here. Couldn't we? We could totally do that. Um, so if we looked at importing wood, we need to... We're just saving to get the route open. We'll move them will look at getting a navy so the navy how much is this 600 for the wharf it's quite expensive isn't it because you have sent the fish to timna as they requested you have become more popular among the fellow egyptians i'm still building a navy I'm still totally building a navy and at some point as well, maybe we should get in, like, some archers. Or... Because the thing about the inventory is that we would then need a weaponsmith. And then, and then we need copper. And we can import copper. I saw it out there in the world. I did. I did. Oh. The thing is, is archers on their own are a bit naff. <laughs> okay, I think things are calming down a little bit here. Let's have... Uh, a shaky start. 19% unemployment. I can't help but notice... This is all looking a bit dodgy over here, but they seem okay, don't they? They seem okay. Um, we've lost... Okay, we've got good stuff. Why are they not... Nobody's working at the storage yard. No, people are working at the storage yard. It's fully staffed. This is fully staffed. Where has he gone? Has he taken the beer... No, because the beer goes... He's taking the beer all the way over to here. I would like him to put the beer here. But he's prioritising. Taking the beer all the way over to here. I would rather the dock people took ages. I would. No, don't empty that. Sorry. Oh, wow. Just messed that up. No, 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 that is right, isn't it? Well, we don't need to empty. Just accept none. I think this is going to be bad because production stops on the beer because he's going clear across the city with those goods. So I think I'd rather keep them here and have the dock walkers go all over the city. Dock workers. Right. Money is coming in. This is going to be good for setting up our navy. 19% unemployment. We could do with getting rid of some houses. What location? Maybe we could get rid of them so that we can join this up. Um, at the same time, though, we probably could do something a bit like that to stop... Oh, for Christ. To stop... Um, the, the the water coming down here because we don't want that do we we, we don't want that um, just sort of try and keep the water on track yeah and like this water person here has definitely gone in a direction I don't approve of I want them to go down here and they've gone all the way up here and they've got water so because I've made such a mess of the path. <laughs> I've made a complete hash of it. <laughs> right, what we can definitely do is um, 
get this going we can is the the wood will come into here yes good we're going to move the ship right straight up we're going to destroy this ship right we need a navy now we don't need workers by the warship wharfs or the transport ones do we i guess we'll find out i can't remember can i remember let's build two of these we'll we'll cross that bridge when we come to it let's just oh see they've gone out for workers 15 Shizer. <laughs> okay. Right. Well, in that case then, this might be... It might be better to have a path come out from Dave. Right, this way. Might be better to go that way. We'll come across workers quicker. Um, are we exporting pots? Or are we just using pottery around... Right, okay, so we definitely need more potters here. What's the unemployment like? Wrong button, B! 23, brilliant. Let's get some potters in. Right, because I'm thinking about getting some more houses here. Do you know what we could do? Maybe we could give Dave an, a big house again. But why put it... Oh, we might have to move Dave, everybody. Because what I'd like to do is put in a water source there. Like a proper water source. Clean, clean drinking water. See if it's enough to get them. There's Dave. Dave's back. <laughs> get them in over here. Chickpeas, good. Chickpeas, good. Chickpeas. Um, do you know what? You could probably start accepting all chickpeas now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we should probably look at festivals because now we can do the look, we can do like crazy grand fe festivals. Let's do Osiris. Let's do a grand festival for Osiris. Use up that beer. And we're probably going to expand beer production here. Do you know what? Should we do that anyway? Because 10%, I always think sort of 5% in unemployment's a pretty good margin to hit. So we have. We have space to put in production. More of this. Um, we do. And how are we doing over here? So we have workers over here now. Warships are a go. So we're just waiting for the wood to come in, which I don't actually think I've set to buy. So let's let's do that because we are ready for it. We are totes ready for it. Where's the wood? Wood. Import to maintain Right, wood's really expensive. If we do 400, how much is it to build a a ship? I don't know. Oh my god, that's too much information. <laughs> it's, too, it's too much, it's not what I'm after. I don't know how much wood it is for one warship, but we'll, we'll maintain a 400. Right, I think that's what we'll do. The bazaars are stocking up on food across the city, which is wonderful. We're not taxing anybody. And at the moment, I feel like this is okay. You know, because we've got all this gold, I feel okay not taxing anybody. Money's fine, right? Tax-free city, look at that. As long as they work hard in other areas, because but that's that's the payoff right you don't have to pay taxes but you do need to work quite hard you might starve a little bit you might also get a bit thirsty there might be famine there might be disease <laughs> but there are no taxes pick your poison oh look here we go so colorful look how colorful it is so they seem to be building it at 200 units Good. So it's 200 a, a ship, I guess? Maybe? 
and so 400 would do both boats. And we might be able to put more here. I don't know. Let's do a lavish festival for Ra. So if our enemies do strike, so will Ra, hopefully. Particularly if they come by land. Oh. Ra, I've just done a lavish festival. No! <laughs> If you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. Thank you to all my Patreons for their continued support.